Good morning. Look at little old me feeling good again and coming with some positivity. Um, what can I say to you today? Don't give up. Trust the Lord. Lean not into your own understanding. And ask for help. It's okay. We all need it at times. Um, I know the post that I made yesterday offended some people because I got some little comments made in my inbox. Huh? Who cares? You know, if it don't apply, let it fly. If you know you're not selling cars, then don't be offended by what I say, you know? I'm not offended. I just, you know, speak my truth and express my feelings the way I see them, and if I'm wrong, I'll apologize. You know, I guess it came across as I was saying that people shouldn't educate themselves, and that's not what I'm saying at all, which is what I posted. I'm saying stop being wolves dressed in sheep clothing. Did I say something? Yeah. A lot of times people come across like they mean well, they want to help you succeed. And, you know, if that's true, you'll see it. And if it's not true, God will reveal it. I've been blessed that um, things have been revealed to me, but I had to go through stuff before I got to the stage to understand when God would try to reveal things to me. So if I can teach you something now, that would be to pay close attention to people. Pay close attention to mannerism, facial expression, where their eyes travel when they speak it to you, or they give you eye contact when they're talking to you. Are they talking with a pure heart? Or do you, you know, do they sound like they're kind of pushy and they just want what they want, you know? I mean, we all want to get paid. I'd be lying to tell you I don't want to get paid. But if that's the focus of everything, then, you know, there's a business I don't want to be in. You know, today I posted, are you willing to give up the flowers for the crown? And that was a hard question. I didn't even think about it until I thought about it, until it was presented to me the way it was presented. I'm going for the crown. That means I'm going to have to go through some stuff. It's not going to be easy. So I'm going to have to strap on my thigh high boots and get out here and do some work. You know, use my voice. And I'm using it. Not everything I say you're going to agree with, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't agree with everything I hear on here, you know, but I like your video because I love to support people, you know. I don't like to argue with people, but I will if I need to. I will read you your rights if I need to. And that's something you need to learn about me. You know, a lot of people think, oh, Lisa's a pushover or she's so nice. <laughs> if you only knew, <laughs> you could try me if you want to. You'll lose. I bet you that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll still be nice, and I'll still keep smiling, and I'll continue to love you, even if you show me a side of you that is not so good. I'm not by no means saying I'm so perfect and great. I just said I will read you your rights if I need to. I'm not a shady person, and I'm not petty. I'm a woman that is being developed. I'm filled with grace. My life is favored because I'm still here. I am still here. He allows me to call myself the barrier breaking woman, which means I have to continuously grow and break down the barriers. This is the hand that I was dealt and I'm playing my cards with a straight face. You'll never know. I'm not flinching anymore. Like I said, I posted some things get to know me. Am I nervous at times? Yes. Do I get scared at times? Yes, but it's okay. Don't give up. Don't back down. Keep pushing forward. Stay on the straight path. Don't go through the broad places. 
These these Googles and everybody's a life coach. Damn. Everybody's a life coach today. Everybody. I mean, who do you trust? The guy that charges you just ten dollars or the one that charges you two thousand. Who do you trust? Well, I'm going with Jesus, the best life coach there was. I'm going to choose that path. He paid the price, so yeah. Guess what? You go on YouTube, it's free. Pick out a video you like. If it motivates you, listen to it. Learn something from it. Take notes for free. Well, you know, you got to pay for internet service if you have it, or you got your cell phone, whatever. I paid for internet service, and I got my cell phone. And let me tell you, that damn cell phone get on my nerves. It go, it works sometimes, and sometimes it don't. It's an iPhone, but yeah, whatever. The point is, I don't want to charge you for what was given to me, a price that was paid, okay? However, I will charge you for wasting my goddamn time. <laughs> I'd much rather not charge somebody if I can be a blessing to them and God will make sure I get paid, you know? So my program is not $10.99, $500, $3,000. I'm not focused on if I get three people to pay $5,000 for my program that lasts three months and every month. I don't do shit like that. That's not me knocking myself. That's not me saying I don't believe in myself. Hell, Tony Robbins is a million dollars. I mean, hell, he didn't even walk on water, but people paying it, you know? And you know what's great about him? I, I love Tony Robbins personally. Love him. His energy is amazing. So I'm I'm going to say he's worth the million dollars because he's been through some things. He's had some real experiences and the things that he has experienced, you know, the proof is in the pudding. Uh, some of the most interesting things he says, though, if you just open up your Bible and read a little bit of Proverbs and Ecclesiastics, you'll find that he's saying a lot of the same thing. And you don't have to pay a million dollars to get it, you know, just that was free. See, I just gave you some million dollar information that was worth, I think it's worth more than a million dollars because the price was paid. So you like to read. I say you go with Proverbs and Ecclesiastics. You learn a lot and it's blessed. And so if anything in there resonates in you, some knowledge, boy, lots of knowledge. And Tony Robbins didn't write it, and this is not a knock against Tony Robbins. What I'm saying is that he's smart enough to take that information and apply it to his life and then put it in his own words and tell you how his life was transformed. You know, if you know his story, you know he went bankrupt, his best friend cheated him. Uh, he gave up at one point and then they came knocking at his door. He gained like 30 pounds in a small amount of time. He pretty much just gave up. He had to file bankruptcy. Like I said, his best friend uh, betrayed him pretty much. But that also was his biggest blessing because God had a huge purpose for him. So I'm not knocking Tony Robbins. I am a fan and a believer and a supporter of Tony Robbins. Okay, what I'm saying is that the knowledge that he gives us is the same knowledge that God gives us. And he had enough sense to utilize it and put it in words for people to receive. Because for whatever reason, if I say God, that makes me unprofessional. He says, do a reality check. Check yourself. Check your engine. You check engine light on. He says, check yourself. You know, the um, rule breaks, you know, the must have and the should haves. And it's amazing because a lot of those have to do with your inner person. He tells you a lot of people 
want pleasure to avoid pain, you know, gosh, all that's in scripture. And uh, God has always given us guides. He gives us tools. He allows us to meet other people that are having experiences that we go through, which is why we resonate with different people at different times, you know, when we hit different levels of life. And uh, I think Bibles are free. I mean, you can Google. <laughs> if you got Google, you can look up any Bible scripture. Hell, you can be like, God, what do God say about pink shoes? And I'm sure something will come up. <laughs> I do a lot of researching with Google. I sure do. As a matter of fact, um, here's something. I didn't graduate from high school. No, I didn't. Had my first child when I was 16 years old, and I didn't graduate from high school. And look, I sound pretty good right now, right? Yeah, because God is working. Uh, anyway, I didn't graduate from high school. And a lot of people did not know that about me, but I didn't. But I am currently back in school from home online. Doesn't matter. Pursuing my high school diploma. Now my GED, no I'm not against the GED, but I'm going for my high school diploma. It's something I've always wanted. And so uh, having a stroke and stuff has put a lot of things in perspective for me. You know, this perspective I had uh, last year is definitely not the perspective I have currently. And uh, I'm not going to stop being the barrier breaking woman. I'm not going to stop speaking what's on my mind. I'm not going to stop letting you get to know me and let you make the decision on if you want to listen to what I got to say or not. You know, I made a YouTube channel. I hope you subscribe to it and I hope you share my videos. And, and the reason I want you to do that is because somebody is sitting at home right now feeling like they had it. They at the end of their rope. I had a stroke in September. I waited three weeks before I went to the hospital. Okay, I also was diagnosed diabetic, but I already had the diagnosis of diabetes five years ago, so I already knew that. But I didn't take care of myself physically, you know? And uh, I take responsibility for that. When you don't take care of yourself, it comes with consequences. And so I take full responsibility for that. That's why I always tell people, don't be feeling sorry for me because somebody didn't wake up today. Somebody lost somebody, and God's grace is sufficient. And I'm not saying that he showed me more grace than he showed the person that didn't wake up. It just means the purpose, their purpose was complete, as you say. My purpose is not, I'm not he's not done with me yet, basically. And I'm thankful for that which is why I made a conscious decision that during this personal trial of my life, I was going to open up and let you see me in the raw, in the flesh. I don't rehearse what I say, so I was all over the place. But I do pray before I start speaking. And I just wanted to say a lot of the information that people give there's things that you already know. That's why certain things resonate in you and certain things don't, you know? Somebody could be talking about not giving up on pursuing dreams, right? When somebody just told you you wasn't going to make it. I've had lots of people tell me I wasn't going to make it. Well, I'm still here, all right? I'm surviving. I would love to tell you that everything is good. It's not. I'm so, whew, I don't even want to talk about that financial stuff. That's why I tell people, don't ask me shit about getting rich because I don't know how. <laughs> that, that, that is not my gift. I, that's just not what I do. And it's not even my focus. But if you know how to get rich, I'm open to learning and listening. If it apply, I will not let it fly. <laughs> That's my little inside joke to myself. Yeah, but I don't speak on money. I don't talk about finances. 
I can't teach you about finances. I'm trying to figure that shit out my damn self, you know. When I had this stroke, it just put a lot of things in perspective for me. Right when I thought I had it all together, God came and was like, really? You don't mean me? <laughs> Peekaboo. That's kind of how it goes. But I'm blessed, man. My bills is building up. At this time, I have, like, my means are way less than my responsibilities. But my God is the provider, and he's been keeping us afloat. I get blessed on a regular basis. People show up, and I didn't even have to ask. People actually sitting thinking about my family. You know, and I'm not trying to humiliate anybody or embarrass myself. I'm just being honest, you know. And I want you to know, look, in your dreams, if you only got $5 to your name, if you got a cell phone, get on your cell phone and make a live and tell people about your dreams. That's what I'm doing, okay? Things is bad, but things are good. I can't focus on the things I can't control. I can't. I cannot. I didn't know that my body was going to shut down. I didn't know that my brain would shut down and paralyze the right side of my body. I didn't know that these things was going to happen. But the moment they did happen, I had a whole new perspective. One, my God is good. I already thought that anyway. But suddenly I latched on to him in a way that I never latched before. That's usually how people, how it work. I'm just being honest. When things is good, we don't hold on to the Lord the way we should. You know, we kind of take it for granted. We wake up, we say our prayers, we say, thank you, Lord, I'm awake. And then we go on about our day. Well, my perspective has changed. And I ask forgiveness for that. I sure did ask him for forgiveness. The moment I recognized how I took his grace and mercy for granted. And we do it and it's okay. It's okay. We're human. He already knows it. And he loves us so much that it's okay. Because that's how we learn. You know, he allowed me to recognize things about myself that I'm not very proud of. And when I saw the things that I wasn't proud of, it helped me to make the changes mentally and spiritually. You know, I can't control the things that I cannot control. But God damn it, I can control what I'm putting up inside this body. I can control the things that I allow myself to be a part of, you know. So again, it was no knock to life coaches. That was actually something I wanted to do, right? <laughs> speakers that want to get paid. Yeah, we want to get paid. Why wouldn't we? Joyce Myers get paid and she's talking about the Lord. But that's because God blesses her. She's doing her job, her purpose. But if the only reason you want to be a speaker is so that you can make a big check, then it's, it's not such a good thing. It's not a good idea because people are going to then find out the real you, you know, they're going to see that there's no truth in the things that come out of your mouth. I'm just saying. When I wanted to become a speaker, it was kind of funny because I saw Tony Robbins and I was like, this guy is just like the pastors and people is just, it's just like a lot of people trying to see him. I was 23 years old though, you know, I'm 39 now, about to be 40. And I'm looking forward to hitting 40. Cause I almost didn't make it, and I, you know, I still got a couple of months, but I'm blessed. I'm not asking for anything, but for you to use the gifts that God give you, to use God as your guide, and not man. To ask for discernment, you know, ask for wisdom when you're trying to make decisions when you don't know what to do. I don't know what to do when I turn on this camera. I just let whatever's on my heart come out. And you should listen to Tony Robbins. I listen to him 
I also listen to Joel Osteen. I like him. He's positive, positive, positive. You know, we need that positive encouragement. He likes to awaken dreams that were dormant and like get you going. And that's what I want to do. I want to wake up things inside of you that you put to sleep. And but I don't want you to wake it up because you think you're going to get rich overnight if it becomes successful. I want you to wake it up because you know it's going to be a blessing to someone else. I want you to wake up because somebody's waiting for you to handle your business, to get to work for God. So I'm willing to pass on the flowers so I can get my crown. Are you?